What's going on, guys? Ben's gonna do the intro. All right, guys, we're out here on an undisclosed lake in the southeastern United States doing some crappie fishing with the world's finest crappie minnows from the local gas station. How many we got? Like a dozen so far in the cooler? Yeah, we got a dozen in the cooler. Now We've caught a few more than that. Now we pull the camera out for all the fish. Yep. Fishing this tree and like we got a huge water. tree on sonar. And they are tearing up our crappy minnows. So let's get into it. Here it is. We got a little crappy minnow on slip cord. We got our marker buoys. Our trolling motor's getting weak. So uh, we're kind of running into the buoys, but it don't matter. We're still catching fish. So there we go. Got the cork in the water. Can you see the cork? I can see the cork. Wait. That's a big right there. There you go. A little bit bigger. Not, not. Oh yeah. Good, good 10-11 inches. Time in the toilet. Got him. Oh yeah, dude. Good stuff. Hold him up here. Yeah, man. Are you there? All right. We got the minnows in the tank. Pull one out, throw them on the hook. We're catching them as fast as we can get minnows on the hook right now. It's uh, it's about noon, and we pulled up over this tree, and it is loaded. I've never seen so many crappy on one tree. There goes Ben's. He's got one. There he comes. Oh yeah. He flicks the minner in the water. So that's probably eight, nine inch fish, something like that. And we're gonna watch mine. So we set our corks right up in the top of the tree and we just float that minnow right across their face. As close as you can get to them. The closer you get it to them, the more likely they'll bite it. And then you just wait. Wait, wait, wait. I haven't been waiting this long. You can tell I'm definitely not impatient. There we go. Look away for one second, and there he is. Flip him right on in here. Yeah, he'll be. There's uh, there's no official minimum here, but uh, we like to go by the eight inch minimum rule. I'll take him up here and measure him. And he's definitely all of nine, so we'll keep him. There we go. Oh man, Ben's up here and caught a hog. Oh, I've been dipping in the net. Look at that. Oh, I think the motor's dying. Yeah. So our trolling motor. Our main motor is dead. Our main motor is dead. And we don't have an anchor because our motor, our trolling motor has spot lock, you know. So we're like, oh, we don't need the anchor. Well, the trolling motor went dead because the main motor went dead so here we are we're fishing it on its last few percent we're gonna catch a few to take home I think it's getting weak there he goes got him 
Oh yeah. And he's still got the minnow right there in his mouth. Mm. The minnow's dead though. I move mine down to eight foot. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Oh, man. He went for a rag. He ain't that big, though. Yeah. The smaller ones are more lively. <laughs> there yours goes. Gotta set it. No, like set, like pro bass fishermen. Yeah. How many have I missed? <laughs> well, all right. I'm gonna set the crap out of this. Look at this mammoth. That's a stud. Wow. Big one right there. So we both dropped our rigs down to eight feet. And like I said, that's the difference. We just dropped them a foot deeper from seven to eight. And we've already caught that stud. We'll see if it holds true. There he goes, there he goes. Come on, come on. Got it. If it goes down at all, it's probably a fish. Got an end? So, as you guys may know, Mr. Brad and Hunter made a video a few days ago at Harris Lake catching crappie on the live scope. And we went out there this morning and we caught one crappie. It was like my first cast, caught a crappie. We caught two bass. And we actually caught a massive carp in the cast net. It was huge. I got a fish. There's another good size one. And we were doubled up, then missed it. <laughs> so, um, we went out there to try it. Cause we were like, oh, that looks easy. Well, turns out if you don't have live scope, it's not that easy. And uh, we really struggled finding the fish. But we did catch two bass. I don't know if I said that already. We caught those two bass and decided to call it a day. And uh, we brought the rest of our crappy minnows out here to this lake. It's not Harris Lake, it's a different lake. Um, to a spot that I've been fishing a couple times before. And uh, we're doing good so far. Really good. It's all about location. It's all about location. You gotta go where the fish are hungry, not just where they are. You gotta find hungry fish. You got pliers? Yeah, in the front of that tackle box. <laughs> so my hook's a little bent, so I'm gonna blame that if I miss the next one. But uh, we'll see what happens. Did you get a nibble? No. I'm just reeling it. Yeah, I want mine right here too. The closer to the boat, the better. Seems like they like the shade. There he goes. Wait. <laughs> he let go of it. He's just playing with yours. 
There he goes. I wasn't looking. You gotta, sure. you gotta wait. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I thought I had him doing something. I'll put mine over there and catch him before you get back. I'm the master spot thief. Watch this. There he goes. Oh! I'm not going to blame the hook on that one. That was the weakest set I've had. Who will get it first? We're like less than two feet apart. Ben's is fresher. The wind is blowing them off course. And I got one. Oh, yeah. I got the lucky bait. There, Ben got one. Nice big rip lip. Lip. Calm down, bud. <laughs> I believe I'm about to keep this one whether I want to or not. Yeah, that's all right. I'm gonna put this one back. It's probably eight, but we got a bunch. Pliers. They're right there beside the you. Okay. Pliers. All right, we're back in the water. I just dropped it in and turned the camera on at the same time. So we're gonna do a timer. See how long it takes. And that was a solid 10 seconds, maybe. So we're on them, Bo. Yeah. We're talking turkeys already. We're ready for turkey season. So there for video proof, I just dropped it in with a fresh minnow. We'll see how long it takes. Got him. Oh yeah. That's a decent size one. Probably 10, 10 inches. Something like that. There he is. Oh yeah. All right, just dropped it in. Waiting on a big one. Let's see what comes. There's still a dozen in here, so. Okay. The wind is just killing it. It's about to go into the buoy. There's nothing worse than catching your marker buoy. <laughs> nothing worse than catching your marker buoy. I would know. Ben's done it like 10 times. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Yeah, once each. And I'm about to catch it again. It is so hot. It's probably 95 out here right now. We are cooking. It's the middle of the day, probably like 12:30 in the afternoon. 108. So we are in the heat of the day. People said it couldn't be done, but we are destroying them. And we don't even have live scope. Partially luck. We are poor. But we did see it on the sonar, so. We have an overheating two-stroke. Almost yes. dead trolling motor batteries. Yep. The good Lord is watching over our trolling motor at the moment. I don't know how it's still going. Somehow it is still going. And we're midday fishing. It's not even, it's not even supper time. And they're still hammering them. And the wind is ridiculous right now. Ben's got him. Ben's got him. Oh yeah. Nice sized one. Probably a good 12 inches there. Oh, and I got one. I 
Now this one might be a little bit bigger too. Look at there. And we're back in them, doubled up. This one's 10, something like that. There it goes, there it goes. Oh yeah, nice little one. Oh yeah, there he is. We gotta fish the next round of hats. We want white hats. Black ones are hot. This one's made for hunting. Oh yeah, true. My other one's black too. Right? The logo has a white background, so I think we could do all white hats. <laughs> They definitely would never get dirty. Get him. I don't think that's my minnow. I don't know that close. Come on. What you doing? Eat it. Should I? Should I not? He's pondering his life choices at the moment. Dang. We almost doubled. There he is. <laughs> there he goes. Oh yeah, stud. Stud, baby. He's starting to go, he's nibbling at it. There he goes. We got him this time. Oh yeah, buddy. And that's it, folks. We are done now. We're gonna head to the house and clean some fish. Yeehaw. All right, guys, we just finished up. Me and Ben are gonna go for a swim to celebrate all these fish. I'll show you the, the cooler is full of crappy. We had a great day. So well, I'm gonna do a, a backflip to celebrate. Yeah, it's about 97 degrees out here and we are burning. Oh yeah, let's see what Ben's got. <laughs> if you eat fish, you gotta swim like a fish. So we're gonna swim all the way back. That was another epic day on the water. We appreciate you guys for joining us and watching the video. Um, we caught a bunch of fish today. So hopefully you learned something, maybe some tips for next time. But uh, if you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing and we'll, uh, we'll see you in the next video. Peace. So here they are. we got 25 laid out. We're about to start cleaning them. Got them up on the tractor, the electric knife and the bucket and the bowl for the meat. And there's Patch. Hey, buddy. All right, let's get to it.